Hello, I'm Felix White and these are the tracks that changed my life. The Best of Van Morrison was the first album that I'm like learning the whole way through with my brothers. There are a lot of tracks from my childhood and it's an interesting question now because I've been going back to all of them. So when I hear uh, And It Stone Me Now by Van Morrison, that's like deeply nostalgic. If there had to be one, that would be the one song that reminds me of my childhood, yeah. Yet it's stone me uh, so there's a talk talk song called I Believe in You which is off an album called Spirit of Eden which is such an important record to me because the first time I heard it it was like no music I'd ever heard in my life like it all flows into each other and it's really conceptual I Believe in You in particular is just amazing it's so so beautiful yeah it tends to do this people Spirit of Eden it like really like gets you in quite a like place you can't get rid of so I got into a phase of um, anytime anyone was around the house I'd make them all lie down quiet and listen to Spirit of Eden in its entirety I mean people some people lasted like two songs some people lasted three songs but I was always really insistent on it When I was like, I must have been 16 or 17, I got given a CD from a friend and when he gave it to me, he said, I wanted to give you this because it means a lot to me and you mean a lot to me too. So I used to go, I took it home and it's um, Pink Moon by Nick Drake, which is such a such a beautiful, timeless thing. But I used to fall asleep to it um, and make it be really quiet. But because I was trying to fall asleep to it, it feel like it filled the room as well. To this day, like if I can't sleep, that's what I listen to and it will always help me out. Uh, there's a song called Radio's Emotion by XTC. Before we were quite old enough to go to gigs properly, we used to watch old Grey Whistle Test videos, so that was where all our reference points of bands came from. And there's loads of amazing things and weird things, but XTC do Radio's Emotion, and it just stuck in my brain. I think because the guitars are um, uh, the most direct, exciting guitars you'll ever hear. So I don't know how they did it still. And on record, it's beautiful, and it's got the best ending ever as well. It goes... I remember thinking, why doesn't every song end? Yeah. I bought White Chalk, which is this really eerie cover of PJ Harvey in a white dress. And for people who haven't heard it, it's just very minimalist piano songs. I put it on and it was like, I'd never heard anything like it. It was like, she was singing this really low, mad voice. And I listened to the whole thing and I was phoning up people going, have you heard this record? It's so brave. It's just like, Whoa. and then I checked the record and it was playing at the wrong speed. But, <laughs> so I have a relationship with that record where I just couldn't believe. And I listened to the entire thing. I was just blown away by it. And it was actually playing at half speed the whole way through. A couple of years ago, I sort of stumbled across Peace Trail by Neil Young. Songs are sometimes really amazing when they just come out of nowhere and find you and they tell you something that you really need to hear like, at that moment in your life. So the lyrics go, um, up in a rainbow teepee sky, no one's looking down on your eye, that's just a mirror in your eyes. goes I know that treasure takes its time and it's about loss and things moving but just being brave enough to like get on with the next part of your life and uh, hearing someone like that sing that at his age made quite a stark impression on me I think because you have all these moments in your life where you have to sort of be creative with your survival and rebirth and having someone sing it so naively at me felt like he I felt like he was telling me it so um that's an important song to me radio x